What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 55 of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. We're starting off at the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. So I changed the paint scheme back to kind of the slime green, but I didn't change the like white stripes. Well, what used to be white stripes back to white. I kept them the yellow of the Baja Blast scheme. So let me know what you guys think. I actually want to talk to you guys about something that's kind of funny. So, as we get ready, shift in the third there. So, I posted, I guess it would be two videos ago. So, long story short, a lot of the videos that you guys have seen all this week have been pre-recorded because I knew I was going to Georgia. So, while I was in Georgia, I, I wasn't able to really record. I didn't get as many recorded as I wanted to, so that's why you guys haven't had videos the past couple days. But, I posted a video about Joey Logano. Joey Logano and I kind of kept going at it in our career mode, and I, I nonchalantly joked around, like, wonder what Joey Logano's height and weight is, and blah, blah, blah. And then we ended up friggin' wrecking him because, you know, I was just tired of it. I was just tired of the constant back and forth with Joey Logano, so we wrecked him. It brought in more viewers on the channel because they dislike the fact that I wrecked Joey Logano in a, in a video game. I thought that that was freaking hilarious. And for those of you that did look it up, Joey Logano and I actually are the exact same height and weight, which is actually pretty crazy. We're both six foot one, 185 pounds. So, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind shit talking at all. I wouldn't mind shit talking if he was 6'4 and 235 pounds. I really wouldn't mind shit talking. It's not like Joey Logano is going to take Snusky Copen seriously. Though, if he would take Snusky Copen seriously and a video game did piss him off, I would have no problem beating Joey Logano in person. But, I'm joking. Obviously, this is a video game. Some people took this shit, like, really, really to the heart. The fact that I wrecked Joey Logano in my career mode. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. We are straight sucking at Charlotte right now. I'm just being brutally honest with you guys. Maybe it's because we changed away from the Baja Blast paint scheme. But, four laps into this race, and we're not even cracking the top 30 yet. So, Brad Keselowski is our leader right now in this race. We're going to get some help from Ross Chastain. Let's see if we can get under the 16 car of Justin Haley. Maybe get into the top 30 here this lap. I'm thinking if Chastain can continue to push us and give us momentum, we might be able to get up the front. But I had to slow him up there because I kind of took that a little bit high. We're going to dive back down here underneath John Hunter Nevercheck. This is going to be like probably a low to mid 20s position race for us, which really, really sucks. But hey, I've told you guys plenty of times before, you can't freaking win every single race. You can't do top fives, top tens, every single freaking race. So, with that being said, oh shit, 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 shit. You ever watch the videos of people falling and it takes like 40 seconds for them to fall? Yeah, well, the double zero car was literally like wrecking for 10 seconds there. P27, Chaucer, Ross Chastain is still up here with us, giving us a little bit of a push. The crazy thing is, is for those of you guys that got upset that I posted video wrecking Joey Logano, it is what it is. I'm sticking to my guns. I think we're going to continue to race four different teams. And eventually I'm going to become Logano's teammate. Whether we like each other as teammates or not, hey, it is what it is, but... I'm going to run for Penske at some point, I'm just being honest, as I got really low coming through turn two, we're going to end up being teammates with him at some point, so it is what it is, right now we've already done one full season racing for Joe Gibbs, Kaylin P5, we're in our second Cup Series season, we're running with Team Hendrick, and uh, I forget where we're at in the standings, I'll let you guys know after the end of this race, but we are doing very well. I know that I know that we are doing very well. Um, you know, I'm contemplating what team I want to race for next year. If you guys want to drop your comments down below for who you guys want me to race for next year, I'll race for them. You know, I'm going to take in consideration everybody that gets recommended, and I want to do that before we start our own cup team. I want to run through like all the good teams, see where we get our best finish from, and uh, roll with it. Obviously, some of it's situational. You know. Whether we get caught up in a wreck or we get slowed down or we're just absolutely terrible, 
everything is what it is at this point, but I really want to do that. I really want to run for each team and see where we finish. P27, we're trying to catch up to Austin Dillon, and me scraping the wall there does not help a single friggin' bit. Damn. Still a second gap here. It'd be nice to get in the top 25, but I just, I don't know, I don't see it happening. We're still maintaining a solid second behind those guys. We have seven laps to go, though, so I guess anything can happen. I mean, we just made up one tenth on Chris Buescher. It's possible that in the next seven laps we could potentially catch up to these guys and pass you know two of them at least and get into the top 25 but still not a good run for us today in the number 94 mountain dew chevrolet it's all right though we bounce back that could have been pretty horrendous there that's definitely going to put a little bit of a damper on uh us trying to get up to p25 but it's races like this that i appreciate but suck you know, you're running mid to the rear of the pack. Everything just feels like it's repetitive. You're not really racing anybody hard. There become separations, and, you know, Kyle Busch is our current leader right now. You know, and we're not even anywhere close to Kyle. It, it's <laughs> He's going through midpoint of one and two as we're going through three and four. And uh, it's pretty pathetic that our car is kind of like that today. But what can we do? We're running for Hendrick. There's going to be off races. We are catching up to Busher, which if we can catch up to Busher, I'm thinking that maybe we could push him, use the draft to possibly get up to Austin Dillon and take away that P25, but we're running out of time to be able to do it. Definitely running out of time to be able to do it. Oh man, for those of you guys that saw the post that I put on here the other day, um, we are getting back into our working on things hands on, working on things hands on. Um, my LB7 Duramax is finally getting fixed, and I'm going all out. I am, I'm absolutely going freaking insane on this truck. It's about time I do it. I've had that truck for quite a while. I'm excited to be able to do it. I I won't lie to you guys. The uh, the stimulus check, that's definitely going to help out big time. Um, I'm thinking about repainting the truck. If you guys have recommendations for what color you guys would want to see my truck right now it's burgundy um you know once once we get the ball rolling on everything with that truck i'm gonna be so freaking excited to be able to do that plus i told you guys before i want to vinyl wrap my harley so that's going to be another thing that we're going to do the warrior is going to be back up and running i'm just really stoked because when it's warmer weather i can do all sorts of different content outside in pennsylvania it does get pretty cold in the winter time so you know, not that it's like detrimentally cold as I almost got wrecked into the pits by Chris Busher. You know, I'm limited on what I can do in the wintertime in particular here in Pennsylvania. And, and honestly, the video game stuff, doing the NASCAR career and different stuff like that as content, and it's been awesome. And I've met new subscribers along the way that, you know, are just like me, just like you. Just enjoy having fun, enjoy anything with a motor, and just enjoy being a fucking American, because being an American is great. Absolutely great. We're getting ready to take the white flag. We're still .9 seconds behind Austin Dillon for that P25. We're not going to catch him. We're going to come in P26, as long as I don't do anything utterly fucking stupid here. And that's going to be how we're going to start off this episode, as I bounce off the fucking wall. It's all right, Busher is still four tenths of a second behind us. He shouldn't catch us. It's not saying that he won't, because we're gonna maybe bounce off the wall again. We did. Wow, we had an absolutely awful, awful, awful last lap. But we're still gonna bring it home in P26. Let's head in the next track. I'll tell you guys where we're at in the point standings. We are starting mid-pack at Kansas. Nighttime race, another nighttime race. Starting P21, it looks like, right next to Bubba Wallace. Let's see what we are capable of here today, as I miss third. I hate when I do that. All right, we're in P21, 11 lap race here today. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can get a top 10. One would hope that would be the case. I see a lot of Hendrick cars up here. I 
see William Byron. I see Johnson. I see Chase Elliott. Obviously, we've got <clears throat> lots of momentum coming here. We only picked up one spot that lap, though. Got Alex Bowman right here as well. Up to P19. I don't know why my steering wheel just, like, made the car go down that much on the track. But, hey, it is what it is. P19. We're going to try to get P18 as we go through the turn here. Pushing David Reagan a little bit. We're going to try to slide underneath him. Maybe get P17 this lap. Yes, we are going to get P17 this lap. Let's get up to our teammate Alex Bowman and then try to get up to our other teammates to try to get into the top 15, top 10 area for the race here today. We need to get the draft with Bowman or we are fucked, which we are not getting the draft right now from Bowman. We're just going to have to keep sending it hard in the turns. Try to pick up some time, try to pick up some pace, but it, it just doesn't look like our car is... <sighs> this might be a mediocre episode, just being honest with you guys. It might be a not good episode. 0.6 seconds away from Alex Bowman. Looks like Eric Almarola is sliding back just a little bit. Maybe if, if he slides back further, maybe we are going to be able to get in the draft with him, but... Help behind us is half a second away. We're just kind of out here by ourselves at this point. Seven laps to go. Ryan Blaney is our leader. Picking up a little bit of time on Amarola. Don't know if it's going to be enough to get at least the top 15. That would be fantastic. Top 15 would look nice. That'd make the episode a little less shitty, but even once we catch him, then we're going to have to fight to get up to Chase and get up with Bowman. Six to go. And I'm trying to dive it in here as hard as I can to try to pick up the momentum and then trying to slide up to get into the draft. Even here, it's not like freaking draft. Eric Amarola. Looks like Bowman got around Chase. We are going to try to get around the 10 car. We're running side by side. P16 with five to go. Come on. Can we do it? Can we freaking do it? It'll be nice. It would be nice to get in that top 15. I'm telling you guys, it would be really nice to get a top 15 finish here. Now the, the cars behind us are starting to get up to us, which means we might be able to get some push, might be able to get some help, but will there be enough time? Who knows? We're six tenths behind Chase, four to go. He seems to be running the high side, so that could be beneficial to us for now. I'm sure as we get down to two to go, he'll want to drop back down to the bottom. It's actually dropping down now. We're still picking up some, definitely picking up some time with him. It's just he seems to get us on the straightaways. Come on. There we go. Now we're going to get up on him. Three laps to go. Ride high again, Chase. Come on. Come on, get right up, get right up there. Fall in line. Why I'm not getting, uh, there we go, got a little bit of draft from Chase, not much. I don't want to ride him dirty because he's my teammate and my favorite driver. I think we might be able to get the P15. I think we might be able to get the P15 with two laps to go. We should be able to send it under chase here and try to hold him off he's going to be hell bent for election he's actually probably going to get right up on us and push us but if we can maintain this p15 i'll be happy with this race i mean it's still a shitty episode because we're not running 
We're not running normal Snussy Copen style running, but hey, it's all good. Last lap, Chase is right on our bumper. He's going to try to make a move on us. He's going to try to wiggle us out of the way here and shoot underneath us, which I'm surprised because he did push us up the track, and now he's just following us. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to lose that P15. Fuck. We're going to lose that P15 to Chase. Wonder if I can give him a little bit of a bump. Come on. Nope. We're going to come in P16. I don't know if I said it, but we are in sixth in the standings. Anyway, guys, if this was your first time watching a video on the channel, hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button down below. Join us on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.